How do you do this? Some type of wizard. Today's video is brought to you by Sunburn. Click the link below in the description to get your first month for only around $8. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. I'm pretty excited for today's video because behind me here, we have a big old stack of P. Louise boxes. We haven't done a P. Louise boxing in a while, hence the, the large stack of them behind me. This one here on the top, I'm super excited about. It's, it's pizza. I hope with every fiber of my being that everything inside of this box is pizza themed. I want like pans of blushes that look like pepperoni. I want a highlighter that looks like the pepperoni grease. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping we get in here. It's just everything pizza themed. I almost want to save this one for last because this one I'm most excited about. Please don't let me down, little pizza box. Oh, but it looks like a pizza box. Dang, this one's heavy. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start. I have no idea what month these came in. I also don't know if I'm gonna be receiving anymore. Honestly, boxes in general, because I might have thrown my debit card in the trash can and then almost immediately after took it out to the dumpster and then the trash man came and then put it in the trash truck and then drove away with it. So since that happened, I did have to get a new card and I don't think I've gone back and changed any of my payment information. I know for P. Louise, so I might have to repurchase the subscription, but that's okay. We have several to tie us over for now. <laughs> this looks so cute. Gosh, I'm a sucker for packaging. All right, we're gonna go least cute to most cute. So the first item we have in here is this box, which is a very cute box. It just happens to not be the most cutest thing in there. Oh. <laughs> Okay. The very first thing we have in here is from P. Louise Skin. This is the Finishing Touch All Over Body Glow. Which that's, you know, I'm sure summer's coming up, unfortunately. Uh, so, you know, I'm sure people do like to be glowing their body to be shimmering in the sun. I'm not necessarily one to really um, dress for the summer, mainly because I just stay in the inside. The inside's where the air conditioning is, and that's where I like to be. So I'm not real. I don't really show off too much during the summertime. So if I want to make my like wrists and potentially ankles glow that could be scandalous you know show off the ankle oh <laughs> then i could wear this very very shimmery body lotion is this even a lotion what would you consider this it's in the shade butterfly heart and it's kind of like an iridescent there's a little bit of like a gold green shift to it i don't know how well that'll pick up on camera but it is kind of shifting colors a little bit and it does look very sparkly oh wow it says one drop is enough to create decadent dimension catching light and standout shine a sprinkle of skin magic. <laughs> I don't know how much I love skin magic. I will say that like here on the collarbone and stuff, I do often dust on a little bit of highlight. So it could be, you know, a replacement for something like that. I'm sure it looks really nice on the skin, especially like, you know, a summertime glow with a little bit of sparkle on top of it. The sun hits it. I'm beautiful, I'm sure. Okay, next up, this one is also so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm guessing the theme for this month, whatever this month was, is butterflies. This is the second butterfly theme thing that we received. This is the you give me butterflies palette for face and eyes and it's just so pretty i like that pale blue it's a little bit different than their typical like, pink packaging okay so they tell you on the back here what is for use around the eyes and which ones are not for use around the eyes there's more of them that are not supposed to be used around the eyes than there are but i'm fairly certain typically in palettes like this if they are technically an eyeshadow palette but they say not for use around the eyes is because the potential that the pigments might actually dye the skin around the eyes so sometimes if you see like a pressed pigment palette and they don't call it an eyeshadow palette is because it technically can't qualify as an eyeshadow palette because it might stain your eyes. I don't know for sure if that's the case with this one, but I'm assuming it is because, oh my gosh, those are some colors. That is, there's, there are color, colors in here. Oh heavens, those are those are some blues. Those are some blues and purples if I've ever seen them. I don't even know if the camera is truly capturing the vibrantness of these colors. Oh, they're kind of stunning though. Oh my goodness. These are really beautiful. <laughs> these are very pretty. So yeah, it's saying that this row down here on the bottom and then this one up here is not for use around your eyes. Uh, I'm guessing that's why they call it a face palette as well. Yeah, they're calling them face pigments because uh, I guess they legally can't say they can be used around your eyes. Um, I would say it's because of how intensely rich these pigments are. There's a chance that they might stain, uh, but they are beautiful. These are truly <laughs> very, very pretty shades. Oh, 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 it's magic. Barely, barely tapped my fingers into the shimmery ones because those are the ones truly catching my eye. This light shimmery blue is like the early 2000s in, in, in an eyeshadow. That's crazy. Look at that. That's so pretty. You guys know that I'm not a purple or blue eyeshadow kind of gal typically, but these are just so pretty. 
Ooh, that light blue is still just really, really drawing me in. I just feel like these are really unique shades. Uh, typically with P. Louise, we see a lot of warm tones, a whole lot of warm tones. Every now and then we'll get a cool tone palette, but like, especially with the uh, advent calendar, I love the advent calendar. The packaging, incredible. Like the products, amazing. But it was a ton of warm tone shadows in there. So it's nice to see something a bit different sticky on there. Too pretty to be sticky. And then finally, the last thing in this first box, the pack, the packaging. P. Louise could package up some trash. They could shove this full with like banana peels. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, P. Louise. <laughs> Yes. I don't know if it's just my like kind of little bit obsession with skeleton keys. I had a collection of them. I still do have a collection of them. They're just getting harder and harder to find. There's skeleton keys hanging from this. There's a little keyhole here in the front. They still have the butterfly theme going on. There's a bunch of butterflies flying around as well. I, I just think it's so cute. I just love the little bit over the top like extra packaging. It's definitely different. Definitely something you don't see all the time with makeup. Makeup's becoming so minimalist nowadays. Everything's super minimal, very light pale colors, which I like that aesthetic too, but there's just something to me about makeup that's a little too over the top, a little too extra, sometimes a little too chunky clunky, but I personally, I just, I really like it. It just makes makeup really fun. Do you light up? This kind of looks like this should light up right there. That's like a piece of plastic. Now I'm used to everything from P. Louise lighting up. This is the Believe in the Bristol. Bristles. Oh, it's a brush set. Oh, I thought for absolutely certain this was gonna be a eyeshadow palette. It's a brush set. We have quite a few brushes in here and then the box itself has a mirror. It's a really nice box. It's magnetic and I do really like it when they make uh, the little boxes like this because they look like books. That's a lot of brushes. That's like a whole lot of brushes. That's like a whole of them that you need probably. Oh dear. Okay, they don't tell you necessarily what they're for. They are all numbered, but you know, they're brushes. You can you can use your imagination. You can use them for whatever you want to. This one's different. Okay, kind of flat, but like pointed. I don't know here. <laughs> it's like that. There are 20 brushes in here. That's a lot. I was slightly disappointed when it wasn't another eyeshadow palette, but 20 brushes, that's pretty good. There are several face brushes, some bigger fluffier ones, some ones for foundation, and there are a ton of little eye brushes. So this seems like a really, really nice set. And I think it's cute that the box it comes with has a mirror and everything. Box number one, I think was adorable. Not a ton of products on the inside and the little body like shimmer glitter stuff I don't personally know if I would get a ton of use out of it I mean honestly you know the bright blue shiny purple <laughs> eyeshadow I probably won't get a ton of use out of it either but like cute it's cute before we move on I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor Subbird. Subbird is a fragrance subscription service where you get to pick out a new designer fragrance to try every month for only $17 I love perfumes but committing to a full size super expensive bottle of perfume can be kind of intimidating but what's great about Subbird is that you get a 30 day supply of each fragrance that you want to try so you can really test it out and see if you like it before you commit to that full-size bottle. They have so many different perfumes and colognes from a ton of different brands so you can really experiment with different fragrances and see what suits you best. As you guys know I typically go for like a really rich vanilla scent or like a warm spicy scent but with Sunbird you get to experiment a little bit and try out new things. This month I'm trying Wilhelm Perfumery Poets of Berlin. It has notes of blueberry, lemon, vanilla, and sandalwood. It's a warm vanilla scent like I enjoy but with extra unique notes. Dead Cool Extra Milk that has notes of amber bergamot and white musk a very soft kind of comforting scent and finally cherry punk a super unique fragrance with notes of cherry saffron pepper violet and leather it's just so different also the super cute magnetic cases are super handy for protecting the vials inside my mom's actually doing some traveling right now and she borrowed several of my scentbird fragrances to take along with her just because they're so easy to like travel with so if you'd like to give scentbird a try be sure to click the link below in my description or scan the qr code and use my code alexandria55 off to get 55 percent off your first month at scentbird so if you're looking for a new signature scent click link below and use my code alexandria55 off. And just thank you so very much to Semper for sponsoring today's video and your continued support of the channel. All right, moving on to the next one here. It looks like it might be another kind of themed box. This one has the bad B heart uh, little logo here on the top and it says, why chase when I'm the catch? Oh, it also looks very themed. It matches the box perfectly, like the light blue and the pink, super, super cute. Let's start off here with a little squeezy tube. This is a glossed and glazed all over body glow. Okay, they're really wanting us to be shiny shimmery out there in the summer sun, aren't they? Fine, P. Louise, you win. I might, I might go outside sometime this summer. This one is definitely not the same as the super shimmery bottle of liquid that we have, but it says it's an all over body glow. I don't know if it's going to be as glittery as the last one. It says, I think I might be the one. I'm not quite sure if that's the shade or not, but it appears they're very into the, uh, how do they say it in the last? Skin magic. 
since this one is glossy and glazed, maybe it's more of just like a kind of like an oily look, like a slick look, you know, instead of more of a shine shimmer. Are you kidding me, P. Louise? Are you trying to tell me something? Am I like dry and dusty? I don't know. <laughs> this is another finishing touch all over body glow. They're like, here, it looks like you live like in a, a cave in the dark. At least this one is not the same exact shade. This time we have the slaying, not stressing shade. What could it look like? Almost the same. This one looks like it has a more white base to it. Some of the glitters have kind of collected there on the side, so it's extra super sparkly right there. It's also quite iridescent, but it has a purple shift to it. The last one was a little bit like goldeny green, and this one has a very almost purpley blue shift to it. Cool, very interesting, very cool, but daggone it, I don't need my body to be that shiny. I'm not a stalker vampire that watches people sleep through their bedroom window. I don't think I need three bottles of shimmery shiny body stuff. That's a little bit disappointing there with the repeats between boxes. And then this, I don't know, it also says all over body glow, but like it's it's lotiony instead of liquidy. That's a whole lot of glitter. Okay, but we do have some other stuff in here that looks super adorable. So next up, we have a ready set glow, again with a glow in. But this time it's a little set of their lip glosses, which I personally really like. I think they feel really nice on the lips. And then <laughs> the packaging, of course, it's it's definitely a little over the top, a little, you know, in your face, but it's it's daggone cute. There's absolutely somebody that's gonna get so mad at me in the comments for saying cute too much. I know they are. Oh, look at these little guys. They're just they're precious. We have three of the Stay Shining lip glosses, or maybe or maybe lip oils. I think they might call them lip oils. Yes, lip oils. We have All Fired Up, Gleam Team, and Flashy Lifestyle. They do look fairly sim. Oh wait, maybe they don't. Oh no, they don't at all. At first, I was like, these look just pale pink, every single one of them. But in the lineup here, you can definitely tell if they're quite different. Different. Gleam Team down here at the end looks white. <laughs> I'm assuming it would be more of like a clear gloss. And then we have All Fired Up, which is more of like a reddish pink. And down here, it says Flashy Lifestyle. And it almost has kind of like a purple tint to it. Still on the pink side, but a little purple. Packaging on the front is kind of fun. And there's like a little clear panel here with a speedometer on the front for like the ready set glow. You know, instead of go, it's glow. All right. And then the very last thing we have in here looks to be a palette. There's a little mirror on the front. Oh, it's like a rearview mirror. That's so cute. Oh, okay. This is actually a bronzing palette. This is the Just Keep on facing forward powder bronzing palette. Hey Louise, I got a question. What's your packaging budget like? How do you do this? I'm honestly a little confused. How can you have different packaging for every single palette, for every single piece of merchandise that you put out? You can put mirrors on random things. You got a poem for everything you've ever made. What's the budget like? Like the budget for packaging has to be astronomical. <laughs> As a business owner who one time tried to get customized paper bags with our logo stamped on it and it was ridiculously expensive, I was like, that's okay. I'll order a stamp, I'll do it myself. How do you do this? Some type of wizard. Anywho, uh, here's the bronzing palette. It does look very familiar. It does look like bronzing palettes we have had before in the past from P. Louise. Super on the warm side. Some of these shades are straight up almost orange. <laughs> um, we do have some darker shades, some lighter shades, so definitely a range of colors here, but they all do seem well, I mean, it's a bronzer palette, so I guess that makes sense, but they all are very, very warm. But I mean, you know, it's nice to have a range of colors. I have had a lot of comments saying that these boxes, the budget boxes, are for makeup artists creating a makeup kit. And I've looked into that and it does seem like, you know, obviously you could use this for a makeup kit. You can have a bunch of different people use this bronzing palette, um, but they are for like everybody too. So, you know, not just people putting together a makeup kit for professional purposes, but just everybody in general who is interested in makeup and wants to build up their makeup collections. I just think it's mind blowing to be fully honest. How are you doing this, Be Louise? And it's not like their stuff is like the cheapest stuff ever, but it's not insanely expensive. You know, Kim Kardashian could put out the most like minimalist looking like plain packaging eyeshadow palette of the most basic warm shades ever and I'm sure it's in the $60 range. How are you doing this P. Louise? Part of me thinks it's almost suspicious but I'm also not gonna question it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna question it. Next up here we have a big old box. This one is quite heavy as well. <laughs> oh how cute. Oh <laughs> okay um Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, Doopy Louise. I mean, we stole the Christmas tree up, so it it works, it works. Okay, so this, I guess, was their holiday one. 
this is such a nice little card. Like, just look at this promotional material. This, it's so nice. So I'm guessing that everything in this is going to be different from what came in the advent calendar because I'm fairly certain all the stuff in the advent calendar was exclusive to it. So these items should be totally different than whatever we got in the advent calendar. Hopefully I remember everything that came in there. It seems that we have a bunch of palettes. So let's, oh, it's smitten. We definitely did not get this in the advent calendar. How precious is that? Smitten with a bunch of little mittens on the front. That is adorable. I didn't even read what this was. Again, it could be full of like old coffee grounds. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's adorable. Did you see the mittens? Oh, okay. So the, this is kind of one of my least favorite things to receive in a palette. It is a lip palette. And I just never, I never get, get a ton of use out of these. I like to be really on the go with my lip products. Again, something for a, a lip kit for a makeup artist. This might be nice. This you'd have to have like the palette on hand to be able to touch up your lips. And then if you're like mixing colors together to get the lip color that you really want, you might not be able to like perfectly recreate that color again. Um, there, it's definitely fun that you get so many different lip colors that you can choose from, but I tend to not get a ton of use out of these little palettes. They are super cute though. So I'm very interested. Is this lips? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I saw these very like nude tan shades on here. I was like, maybe this is concealer, but you know, they typically don't have red mauve pink concealer, but uh, yeah, these are interesting little colors for sure. Oh man, I'm already missing Christmas. Maybe I should just keep up the tree all year round. <laughs> probably make people so mad but it's just it's like it's just like a light in the background just pretend that it's not the lights aren't attached to you know a uh, a faux evergreen it just it, it just lights it just lights <laughs> don't think about it too much all right next up in here oh baby it's cold outside these are just so precious all the little letters and stuff and the hats and the little earmuffs are all raised too and i think that's so cute Oh, this time we have a powder blush palette. Okay, we got a couple blush palettes, I, or at least one blush palette, I think, in the advent calendar. But it wasn't this one, so I'm excited to see what these colors look like. Those are pink. Those are very, very pink. Wow. Oh, they have little imprints in them of different cute and cozy things. There's a little sweater, there's a scarf, there's a hot chocolate. Oh, that's so cute. They definitely are very, very pink shades. Some of them a bit on the lighter side. Some are a bit more on the mauve side. I probably would get more use out of this area of the palette than the rest. This one's very like lilac-y purple. Ooh, that's actually kind of pretty, a little bit different. So there is definitely a good variety in here again. I just, I usually don't go this pink with my blush. Like for instance, this is what I'm using right now for blush. It's just a very different tone. This one's a bit more on like the warm kind of peachy red side, whereas these are very, very pink, almost kind of purple. And then the last thing in here is a honker. Look at this thing. It's huge. Ah, it's one of those adorable little ones where like there's a, there's a piece and there's pieces on the inside that you can shake around. Oh, I ripped it. Oh, I hate ripping the packaging. Ooh, we have a massive, massive eyeshadow palette here. And on the inside, there are little sweaters that jingle jingle around. That's so cute. Listen, I'm sorry for the amount of times I've said the, the C-U-T-E word. I really am, but I just can't help it. All this stuff is too tag on precious. A little heart with the bow holding it together. How, how, oh, blue. All right, well, I guess we are on our second very blue, very cool toned, kind of purple toned eyeshadow palette here. This is called If Looks Could Chill. And these definitely are very chill looking shades. Oh my gosh, they're so blue, okay. Man, that's an intense, intense shade down there on the bottom, like a really, really deep navy. That's super pretty actually. And the way that each of them are individually pressed with like their own little picture, they had to do, how is that what I do with this? Ooh, okay, I don't think we've ever seen, okay, well, <laughs> a little bit different, but I don't think at least the bottom here, we've ever seen colors like this from P. Louise palette. Look at these, kind of like icy aqua blue green shades. I feel like this is a bit different. I personally don't think I've ever received a palette in like this color range from P. Louise. These darker blue shades look very similar to some on the top there, but these kind of minty, mint, mint green, <laughs> minty green shades are a bit different. Oh, I think those are pretty. As much as I love these eyeshadow palettes, these big chunky ones that look like jewelry boxes that have little jingly jangly things. I, I think they're basically like art pieces. I just want to like have a shelf of all these beautiful P. Louise palettes because they're just so pretty. The colors are so unique, so interesting. But am I going to get a ton of use out of these palettes? Probably no, probably no. If I'm being truthful, if I'm being honest, is this something that like I'm going to get a bunch of value out of? Am I going to really get my money's worth out of these palettes? No. <laughs> 
no I'm not. I would love to lie to myself and be like, oh, you know, well, it's it's beautiful. And if I ever need a blue eyeshadow, I'm covered. I might not get a ton of use out of this stuff, but I, I can still appreciate it. I still think it's so pretty. <laughs> Unfortunately, of course, I can't I can't keep all of these things. Uh, when I do these unboxings and stuff, I definitely do not keep all of these items. I do list a lot of stuff on my Poshmark and I will list a lot of people these stuff as well. Um, just because if I kept it and it just sat around on a shelf, it probably, you know, it, it goes bad eventually. It is makeup, it does go bad, but I would love for other people to get actual good use and value out of them. So I do list these items for much cheaper than they typically sell for on like my Poshmark and things so other people can use them and get use out of them. I just personally love opening them up and looking at them because I think it's, it's just so much fun. And like I said, brings me joy, it makes me happy. That was everything in the big Christmas box. It was just three palettes, but one of them was a massive two layer eyeshadow palette and then we got the lip palette and the blush palette. Is that what we got in that one? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I personally think that was pretty good. It wasn't a ton of items, but I think there were good items. It's so hot. It wasn't hot before. Why am I nervous? Stop being nervous. You've done this for seven years. Get it together. <laughs> All right, folks. Now we're moving on to the one that I'm most excited about, and I'm really hoping it doesn't let me down. I want everything in here to be pizza themed so bad. So bad, P. Louise. I have gassed you up this entire time about your packaging. Please don't fail me now. I really hope this isn't just like the standard P. Louise stuff we usually get, just in a pizza box. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing what... <gasps> Yeah, okay, <laughs> right, I'm, uh, yeah. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I think the, the point is getting across for sure. The pizza point is getting across for sure. Okay, <laughs> the very first thing we have in here, not precisely my favorite item we could get, but I do, I do like the little puns that they put on here. So half and half lashes. <laughs> we have two pairs of half lashes, which I do prefer wearing over full lashes. If I'm gonna wear a lash, I'm gonna either cut it in half and put it on my eye, or just go ahead and get a half lash. Now these, these bottom ones here, though those look like a pretty intense half lash. I feel like I don't have enough to get the rest of the half to make those look at all <laughs> like they would be real. I feel like, especially now, because for some reason all my eyelashes are falling out, uh, that if that lash began right here, you would see a definite beginning of that lash. These ones at the top though, I feel like those would look a lot more natural. They're a bit more dispersed. They look they look more natural. Those are very, very bold. All right, next up here, we have sauce on the side. Sauce on the side. Now I'm all for light sauce. I don't like a lot of sauce in my pizza. If you can bite into a piece of pizza and you got, you got marinara just like squirting out your teeth, I can't, I can't handle it. I have actually been known to like lift up the, <laughs> cheese of the pizza and scrape off the sauce and then flap the cheese back down and, and eat it that way. But sauce on the side. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody order pizza that way. But this is the sauce on the side moisturizer. So we have a little skincare item here. I would have loved for this to like, I don't know, look like a jar of marinara. Maybe just like a moisturizer and like a, a prego jar. That's the kind of commitment that I'm looking for with the theming from P. Louise. So <laughs> sauce on the side moisturizer. These two things, maybe not crazy exciting, but the next couple of items I think are really, they're hitting the pizza themes. Look at that. It's pizza roll packaging. It's a pizza cutter packaging. Where, where else can you get that? Nowhere else. It's a little brush set. We just got 20 of them, but who even cares about the brushes? Oh, it's magnetic. It's a magnetic pizza cutter packaging. Remarkable. <laughs> but the thing is, I can't, like, I can't, I can't keep this, right? I can't. What, like, what, what am I gonna do with this once I take the brushes out? I can't, but I just can't throw this away. Who can throw this away? I know a couple people with some, some smaller people, some little babies. <laughs> they, might, they might, you know, they could use this for like playtime. They could pretend pizza cut with it. Oh, but then the magnet, they'll probably lose the front. I could super glue it. I could super glue this together. Take out the brushes, super glue it together, give it to them, <laughs> and they could cut pizza with it. Play pizza. But who can throw this away? I can't throw this away. It's a little bit wide for like a small baby hand. And hold on to it, but we'll we'll work out the details later. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh, I get it now. It's to make a cut crease, isn't it? These are flat little eye brushes. I betcha. This is for making a cut crease. It's the babe, you're a cut above the rest eye brush set. Cut crease cutting pizza. Wizards over there. I'm telling you, wizards. Listen, it might be 12 15 a.m. right now. That's why the boys aren't with me right now. They're in bed. And I might have also had an energy drink to help me stay awake to do this. And and I might be a little bit over the top right now. And I'm sorry, sorry about that. Uh, my sleeping has been super weird. I slept till like noon today. So um, don't really know where I was going with that. But just to say, I'm sorry if I've been a little um, too exuberant. But the next thing I'm really excited about is a piece of pizza. 
Babe, you're a slice of perfection. How precious. Look at all the hearts. Little pepperoni hearts. It is another palette for eyes and face. So we have another eyeshadow palette. How do you open this? It looks kind of weird, <laughs> but they did it. They did it. <laughs> they gave us, it's not blushes, it's eyeshadows that look like pepperonis, but also cheese. <laughs> or maybe they're supposed to look like Swiss cheese. I don't know. They got bumps on them. This is a very unique palette, that's for sure. <laughs> Some of the names on here say cheese. This one is crust in me. I'm sure they're going for trust in me, but the, some of the word crust, I don't know. Slice, slice, baby, all I need, spelled with a K. Very uh, adorable. This is adorable. This is what I was looking for too. Like this and the little pizza roller thing, precisely what I wanted when I saw a pizza box from B. Louise. These items, uh, you know, cute. They're fine. There are some, you know, pizza related puns, but this, this is what I was looking for from B. Louise. <laughs> Alright you guys, well that was all four of our POE's boxes. Let me know what you guys thought about them. Which one was your favorite? What theme was your favorite? Um, I thought we got some pretty fun stuff. These just, they make me happy. I really like unboxing these because they make me happy. They bring a smile to my face and I hope they, I hope they do for you guys too. Just the novelty of these items, the unseriousness of these items. I think it's, I don't know, I think it's just different. There's, it's a very different type of unboxing experience for me and I hope you guys enjoy them. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the opposite world to me and I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>